Hello everyone, this is the NLA Ninja with Luca Visual Effects, and today I'm going to show you how to use the Sprocket Slip plugin. Sprocket Slip is a great transition that allows you to create the effect of a sudden slip in rolling film, which in the process reveals perforations. This plugin comes with a great amount of presets and features that allow the user unlimited creative possibilities, and I'll briefly discuss what they do. Sprocket Slip is available for Final Cut Pro. Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. I'm going to show you how to get the best use of it in After Effects. I'm here in After Effects with the composition of two video clips. Based on previous tutorials, the best way to apply transitions in After Effects was to apply it to the outgoing clip. Instead of doing that, I'll create an adjustment layer and apply the sprocket slip transition on it. Presets are a collection of predetermined looks that the sprocket slip can take on. There are options such as default, fast slip, one frame slip, and many more. With these presets, the user has the ability to change a number of elements for this transition to achieve a desired look. I'll choose one now. Light leak gives the user the option to add or not add a light leak to the sprocket slip. With a light leak on, you will have random, beautiful flashes of color and light. This transition comes stock with over 15 different light leaks from Luca Visual Effects Great Collection. Within the light leak controls, you have the ability to affect what type of light leak, its size, its color, its opacity, and blur. I'll choose a light leak now. Frame controls allows the user to modify parameters such as slip speed, frame line, which is the black line between frames, frame color, and more. It also contains the option to control how much motion blur is applied, as well as exposure. One important thing to note is the frame shift. This parameter controls where your frames position when the transition completes its animation. You will want to modify this if you want your frame to be exactly the top or bottom of the frame instead of in the middle. Experimenting in this section will give you the greatest amount of control for the motion of your slip. Perf's control enables the user to have full control of the look of their film perforations. You can choose from a great variety of perforations such as 8mm, 16mm, 28mm, 35mm, and digital sound strip for your sprocket slip. You also have the ability to control the shift, amplitude, and frequency, which together influence the animation of the sprocket slip. You can also affect the motion blur, edge glow, and more. I'm going to stay with a 16mm perforation optical sound. Now that we have an understanding of the sprocket slip controls, I'll set it up to transition from one clip to the next. For my transition layer, I'll choose my incoming clip, which is layer number 3. Next, I'll set a keyframe for transition progress at the beginning of the adjustment layer with the value of 0. I'll move to the out point of the adjustment layer and change the value to 100. Let's render this to see the final result. As you can see, we get a smooth sprocket slip transition using an adjustment layer as opposed to the outgoing clip and After Effects. The process used here will work similar if you work in Premiere Pro CS6 and use an adjustment layer there. If I want, I can experiment with some of the presets and modify them to build up my preset library. Sprocket Slip is available for just $34 at LucaVisualEffects.com. It's also available at ToolFarm.com for Final Cut Pro, Motion, Premiere Pro, and After Effects. It is currently at version 2.02 .02 with bug fixes for Final Cut Pro 10. Use a trial or purchase this plugin for use on your next project. I'm the NLE Ninja with Luca Visual Effects asking you to stay creative.
Thanks for watching.